Welcome back my beautiful Pisces to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Today we'll be doing a general reading for love and money career um, for the Pisces. I will be... Um, okay, so I will be using my intuition today for this reading. So, so I could cut it down a bit. Um, I will be using today the Dreaming Way Tarot by Rome Shoei. I will use my Oracle, my Oracle Fairies at the end. Um, I will be using the Barbieri Zodiac Oracle to see uh, what possible zodiac sign you could be possibly dealing with. Or will be dealing with. I would then be using my Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards. I haven't used these. So I'm going to pull out. Well I have. But not so much. I'm going to pull up a few. Some inspiration. To end the, the reading. And the Rebel deck. These are straightforward. Uh, um, cards. Um, I have more cards coming in tomorrow. And hopefully. Um, we could get a reading um, with those. Um, these have cuss words, so if you don't like cussing or anything like that, then this is not the channel for you. I keep it 100% uh, real. So let's start this reading, and I will use my sage to clean this um, area, the energy. We want very good energy right now. Please angel guardians and spirit guides, please cleanse this area. Please give us a reading for my Pisces. I will take out my stones. Put in my hair. And then open my deck. This is the second time I'm using my deck. I have another deck coming in. It's called the, it's borderless. So it's just the picture. Um, <clears throat> they're really interesting and they're like somewhat like dramatic. Like you can see swords coming out of people's faces, all kinds of things. Like I like an actual, I want to give you the best reading I can, okay? So let me shuffle these decks. Garden angels and spirit guides, could you please give Pisces a message for today? What's going on with Pisces? What will happen? Can I please get a message for Pisces? You now the two of cups could be about love. We have the Emperor, someone serious. Can you please give us a message for my dear Pisces? What's going on with Pisces? The cups again. My bad. The lovers. Okay. Lots of love, Pisces. Lots of love. King, King of Cups, that look, is looking good, Pisces. Okay, I like good messages. Can you please give us a reading for my dear Pisces? What do you want them to hear today? Okay, we have a lot of messages coming through. Ten of Pentacles. That's money, okay? Um... Seven of Wands, fighting off someone. The Chariot, doing something fast. Justice, making a decision, a fast decision, maybe regarding money or this King of Cups, which comes with the Lovers. The Death Chord. At the bottom of the deck is the death. The, I mean, the death card. The bottom of the, at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card, which also means associates with Scorpio. Death card is Scorpio card. Um, this is Pisces card, Cancer, Capri Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. 
the justice associates with um, Libra and and pentacles associates with earth wands with fire the lovers could be uh, I believe I'm not sure don't quote me on this um Gemini Gemini okay so I will clarify I wasn't gonna clarify but I like to know what's going on. So I'm gonna clarify. Give me a moment. Pisces. So since I'm gonna be using these other decks, I'm gonna try to make this not so long. So I will tell you what the lovers represents, what it means. The lovers, like I have said, yes, it is associated with air. Yes, I was right. It's associated with Hemin Gemini. Heminis. Spanish for the pop, that, pop out. <laughs> um, okay, and in regards to relationships, a love decision. Um, a new lover could come in. Um, it says this also says means that you should love yourself first so the right person could come in into your life in regards of money and career um, uh, it says that you may have an option that looks easier but to look carefully and make the best decision for the long term Okay, Pisces, so you might have someone coming in. I wasn't going to clarify, but you know what? Let me see. I don't know. Let me. I will be using my everyday tarot to clarify the lovers. The lovers. Okay, so. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. When I, uh, when I, uh, my gosh. Knight of Cups and Ten of Swords. So an ending with someone and you're beginning with the Knight of Cups. Makes sense. Okay. Please, angel guides and spirit. Uh, spirit guides, please clarify the lovers. Ten of Swords again. Please clarify the lovers. Or you're using your intuition to end this connection. Because the King of Cups means intuition also. And then Seven of Swords is leaving something as you can see. Alright. Please clarify the lovers for Pisces. Pisces, let me tell you what's up, Page of Swords, Pisces, let me tell you what's up, okay, so I can, I have, to clarify the lovers, I have five cards, okay, the first card that we got was the Five of Swords, so remember we had said the Five of Swords is like, you're, you're done fighting, you're done fighting. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of conflict with this lover, etc. Ten of Wands. It's a. Uh, you see that? You see how she's like. Burden means burden, like. And then it's the ten, so it's a completion. Like you, you're done. Um. Carrying these sticks, these wands, that's what it means. So you're done fighting, you're done holding these burdens with this lover. Because 
three of swords like yesterday heartbreak you're done um he broke your heart six of wands is victory you want some victory with this queen of cups so this could be for um like I said, it could be for male, female, take as it resonates. But what I'm seeing, you know, we had on the deck the King of Cups. And we have the Queen of Cups. So you may be, be look, you're trying to find a King of Cups and leaving this heartbreak behind. Okay. Because Death Card is like transformation all around. Um, losing something, you know, and, um, and then we have the Ace of Swords, the Hangman, and the Ten of Wands, again, Death Card, Ace of Swords, Hangman, so Hangman means like feeling stagnant, stuck, or a new beginning. Ten of Wands again. Um, because of these burdens that you have. Five of Cups. And like I had told you, you're... When this picture looks different, but really, um... You could have been sad about something that had happened to you with this lover. And, like, crying over spilled milk. And then we have the magician trying to start something new. And then the seven of cups deciding what to do. And then we have the strength cord. Having the strength to, you know, soak love. Nine of cups. Okay, then we have the world card. Nine of Wands, you know, thinking about something. You have your guard up. Um, but you're also being patient, temperance. Um, Six of Pentacles, Abundance. You may have abundance or we'll have abundance coming in. The star is hope. And then we have three of swords. And you can see her face. Like she has three of swords like inside of her. You see her like she's in pain. You see. The Knight of Cups, probably of this night. And like I said, you want this. We had said that a King of Cups was coming in into our lives. So you have to, you know, make that decision. And then after that, we have the the Wheel of Fortune. Um, a new start. I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords and Nine of Cups, but the Three of Swords, I'm going to clarify the Three of Swords and the Page of Swords, okay? For the, the lovers. This is for the Three of Swords. That right, I said she looked hurt, 
well that's what it means um you're feeling disappointed taking others negative words to heart what did i say pisces don't do that um you feel lost you feel heartbroken obviously for the three of swords well actually you know what i'm tripping look at this look at this so i i thought you know these are different decks so i thought uh it's always a heart but no there's actually swords going into her and one of, into her heart but this is actually just the heart and the three of swords but it's the same thing hello and then i have said that this was together the knight of cups i told you the knight is not compared to the king was what the three of swords so this knight of cups is the one who hurt your heart but on our table we have the king of cups so i will um clarify the king of cups And yesterday, where do we have the Ten of Pentacles or the Six of Pentacles in reverse that he wasn't paying attention? Something. Okay. Please, Angel Guys, Spirit, Spirit, Angel Guys, and Spirit Guides, could you please clarify? The King of Cups for Pisces. Please clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. Please clarify the King of Cups for Pisces. Oh, I was supposed to use the small deck. Oh, well, we're using these today then, also. You know... Spirits guide you in ways that you never know, you don't understand. At the bottom of the deck, we have nine of swords. That means all up in your head. As you can see, she's grabbing her head, and the swords are facing her head. So that means, like, you may feel anxious, you may feel worried, you may feel whatever, right? And then we have the king of cups with clarify with the devil and the emperor. Okay, the devil means to a toxic situation, um, and someone being like a very like kind of somewhat like cold. The emperor, in regards of money, uh, says that you are establishing and for love. Uh, structures and foundations from which your success will grow. Um, the devil, the meaning of the devil says that you are aware of a healthy attachment. It could be to drugs, it could be to someone, to a job, to a habit, etc. Um, and that it's affecting you. Um, you may think it's hard to let go, but it's just your fear holding you back. I can't stress it enough, Pisces. On my first readings, it was, you know, let that shit go. Let that shit go, Pisces. Let's clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Garden Angels and Spirit Guides, could you please clarify the Ten of Pentacles? We have two cards. The Seven of Cups and Justice. So, the Ten of Pen Pentacles means abundance. Uh, you can see all those pentacles, like celebrating. The Seven of Cups means um, either you're conf yeah you're confused trying to make a decision and you may be trying to find t the justice means that you already have made a decision and um, 
that you just need to like to stick with it you know you may be regretting a decision but you just may need to stick with that decision um I could also represent um forgiveness reconciliation and a new beginning Pisces Let me clarify the seven of wands using my my page of swords again. Um, you want to let can't talk. <laughs> you want to tell someone something important, Pisces. Um, I see the star and I swords again. The star, you're hoping to tell someone something important, but you're all in your head, all up in your head. <clears throat> Four of Cups. Um, someone's offering you something, but you don't want it because um, you don't know if it's real love or not. And you're trying to really think deeply and make a judgment. Okay, let me clarify the seven of wands. Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please clarify the seven of wands for Pisces? Could you please clarify the seven of wands for Pisces? have oh I did not know it was two it's two uh oh this is from yesterday what well, in my other reading the tower and the ten of cups like your happiness went down the drain you're fighting because of something Pisces but it has to be something about love my goodness fighting with this person um regarding your happiness um like and you're just trying to bring the tower into your life like mm -mm. i'm gonna clarify the chariot the chariot card with my everyday tarot deck please go and ancient spirit guides please clarify the chariot for pisces Please clarify the chariot card for Pisces. 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 At the end, we have the King of Pentacles. Clarify the chariot card for Pisces. The Queen of Pentacles is very nurturing. Page of Wands again, Pisces. You're trying to give, you're trying to tell someone something, Pisces. Like you're trying to have your last word. You're trying to tell your this person your last words, Pisces. <clears throat> Please clarify the chariot card for Pisces. Six of Swords. Leaving. You may be telling them, you know what, it's over. I don't want it then. Clarify the, the chariot card for Pisces. King of Pentacles again under the deck. And then two fall out. The first one, three, sorry. The nine of wands. The five of cups. So you're feeling guarded with the nine of wands. 
Five of Cups is that you're heartbroken. You're still looking at some spilled milk. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We had them. We had that yesterday. Which means like someone because someone was not um giving your the full attention that you deserve. No, I'm gonna clarify the justice. <clears throat> Could you please clarify the justice card? Guardian angels, guardian angels and spirit guides for Pisces. Could you please clarify the justice card for Pisces? Of Pentacles trying to make a decision, a rightful decision, maybe about this person, try not to go overboard with them, you know what I mean, I'm not trying to slash some tires, <clears throat> can you please clarify the And choosing yourself. Thinking about just choosing yourself. Can you please clarify the eight of cups for Pisces? Could you please clarify the eight of cups for Pisces? Again, Pisces. Two of Pentacles. That's what I've learned about spirit. And like, um, for example, right now that I shuffled, the messages, they never change. They never change. If that's what spirit is saying, that's what he's going to say. You know what I mean? Um, nothing else came up the same card, you know, like, what are the chances? You know what I'm saying? So that's spirit. That's the justice card. So you're um thinking about breaking up with this person and using your intuition. Because you broke your heart, Pisces. And now uh, you're all, you're stressed. King of, Queen of Cups here. That's you. The Tower came out again. And the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is... Um... Arguments, brainstorming, irritations, provoking conflicts as a way of solving problems. Yeah. So that was your reading. So you're trying to break up with something. You're trying to make the right decision, Pisces. You're trying to make the right decision, Pisces. Pentacles, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. That's like straight, blunt, using your mind, head over mind decision. Eight of Swords because you're feeling trapped. But then the Ten of Swords is over here saying, you know what, it's over. I'm done. I'm done with it. Because you're the Empress and you want a new beginning. And you're done with all this fighting. And in the two ones, you want another pass. You're over with this fighting conflict. 
And you're using, you're trying to use your intuition and patience. The temperance, when I see temperance, is, you know, guardian angels telling you, you know what, we're here for you. We're here to help you start this new beginning, the Wheel of Fortune. With a new person. You're saying use your passion. Six of Cups, you can see someone giving her something. Interesting, Pisces. Very interesting. So when this is these are the cards that are coming out. Six of Cups, someone may be giving you something and you're thinking about it. Um the hangman. You're stuck thinking about that. Pisces. Um, hold up. So yeah, a new lover may be coming in, Pisces, as the car showed. I'm a, um, Barbieri, use my Barbieri Zodiac deck, um, to see who you may be dealing with, and then I'll ask the guardian angels to see who you may uh, possibly will be dealing with in the future. Guardian angels and spirit guys, could you please tell me who is spicy dealing with? Who broke her heart? Who should she let go? Who should Pisces let go? Her sign. So he could be a Capricorn. The devil card also represents the Capricorn. Um... Either Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Virgo. At the end of the deck, we have Leo again. Like yesterday. So you could be dealing with the Aries, Sagittarius, or um, Leo. Woo, my lord. Okay. Now I will ask Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Who you who your new lover may possibly be who who may um water okay who may uh Pisces new lover zodiac sign possibly be please give us a sign please give us a sign of the future lover zodiac sign or could be a Libra for Pis for Pisces Capricorn or Leo and their moon possible new love for Pisces what would their zodiac sign be Libra again possible new love for Pisces what could their Zodiac sign three moon possible zodiac sign for Pisces of new lover possible zodiac sign for Pisces new lover zodiac sign who will be coming in? Who is the king? Water. Could be water. Or Libra. Air sign. Who could be coming in for Pisces? New lover for Pisces. New lover for Pisces. Water. Water. Okay. So, could be a Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer. Um, the Mercury card fold on top of the Capricorn, so he could have Capricorn in his Mercury placement. Um, the Pisces card came out. And the Pluto fell down on top of the Earth card. So, so he may have Pluto in his Earth. I mean... Earth and his Pluto placement.
So Pisces, please take what resonates for you. Um, I'll be using my Fairy Oracle deck. Please give us... Okay, I'm going to do that again. Who had wait for winter and shine from within, okay? Please give us a message for Pisces. Guardian angels and spirit guides, please give us a message for Pisces. Guardian angels and spirit guides, please give us a message for Pisces. Garden angels and spirit guides, please give us a message for Pisces. Garden angels and spirit guides, please give us a message for Pisces. We have abundance, like yesterday. Uh, abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks. So you may have mental blocks like the Nine of Swords was telling us. Um, in fairyland and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. And then we have the pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wish wisely. Manifest your heart's desires with pure intention and for the highest good of all. So try to think, you know, positive, good intentions, and that will help you manifest whatever your heart's desire. And then we have moderation. I'm not sure if it was in reverse, but uh, it says, is there something you know you shouldn't be eating Try to eat mindfully and healthy, so you may um, be depressed, eating unhealthy. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. So in moderation, everything in moderation. On the bottom of the deck, we have flourish. The lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of, of others. And then we have motivation following that. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. Is there's, if there's something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. So you may want to, you know, take some yoga classes, some painting classes, some music classes. Um, and they're advising you to go um, follow your heart desires and do as the will. Okay? Do as the will. Now I will be using the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards and see what we get from here. Garden Angels and Spirit Guys, can you please give us a message for Pisces? Angels and spirit guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please? Give us a message for Pisces. Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces? So this is the first card that fell is Father Sky. 
and it says trust in the unknown Pisces so you may you know be going through a heartbreak right now you don't see the positivity in life and what they're saying is trust in the unknown um we may not know everything but you know the universe and the highest good wants the best for us then we have the mother earth it says feel loved and comf comforted so you may be feeling unworthy of love unloved Pisces is telling you feel loved you are worth to be loved and then we have the high priestess harness mystic power so you are very powerful Pisces um Try to be in, in your power, Pisces. Great teacher. You may be a great teacher, spiritual teacher. You may not know it. Um, learn from spiritual experiences. Like I said, you may be going through something uh, really um, tragic. And what spirit guys are trying to say is that, you know, bad things have to happen for us to ascend spiritually. And then last but, last, last but not least, like I was saying, the Five of Guardian, which says to ignite your passions, Pisces. Like I say, you may like painting. You may want to try yoga. You know, um, follow your passion, Pisces. Get, uh, start a new hobby. Go plant some. Go plant some plants outside, Pisces. Some roses. You know, try to get connected to Earth more. Let's use our inspirational cords to give us some inspiration for today. Can you please give us an inspiration card for Pisces? I have two. Ooh, I have three. I have four. Perfect. So one filled up um like this. The chorus says, "For hope is but the dream of those that wake." The first card that fell is act as if. What you do makes a difference. It does. For example, loving yourself, putting yourself first, you and your children, if you're a mother, etc., if you're a father. And then we have don't wait for it to happen, make it happen, make your own future. Then we have. There is a greatest gift you can give or receive than to honor your calling. It is what you were born and how you become most truly alive. So follow your path, Pisces. Try to um, figure out what you're um, feeling called to do. Because you will make the world a better place, Pisces. Now I'm going to use my Rebel Deck card. I love this card. It's straightforward. Straightforward. I love it. Okay. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces for today? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces for today? <clears throat> Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces for today? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces for today? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, could you please give us a message for Pisces for today? What do they need to hear today? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces for today? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, can you please give us a message for Pisces for today? So, we have three cards. We have fucking apologize. For me, it's in reverse. It says, seriously, just do it. Fucking ap apologize for whoever you broke someone's heart, Pisces. Because, again, the reading could be vice versa. You may have broken someone's heart. Only you know. The second card we got, they're all in reverse, but... 
Take it how it resonates. Time to let go, Pisces. <clears throat> Make the f move the fuck on. Time to let go and move the fuck on. Like I said, you're trying to make a decision. <laughs> and then we have get the fuck outside, move your ass. Okay. I need to do that. Do you, Pisces? Uh, your body is pissed at you. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have this card, which says, which says, figure shit out on your own. You're giving your, away your power, Pisces. Again, we have the card from yesterday. You are a badass. Act like it, Pisces. Don't give away your power. If he wants to treat you like a piece of shit, he's... You're giving away your power. It's like you're being a slave. It says, believe what you be believe what you see, Pisces. If you see him, you see some messages, and he's like, oh no, baby, those are not my messages. No, it says no. Face reality or live in fucking la la land. Choose bravely, Pisces. Do you want to keep going through the same shit? Do you want to keep uh believing a liar, getting your heart broken? I don't think so. So I suggest you to follow your intuition and the right decision for what is best for you. And your priority is always self-love, Pisces. Set some strong boundaries and self-love. So I hope you loved your message. Um I hope you have a great, wonderful, blessed day. Thank you so much for co coming to my channel. And um, I have a last message. Um, when my children are here, I don't do readings because they don't let me. Um, <clears throat> so if I don't post anything, it's not because I don't want to. I want to send y'all your message every day. But if I have my children, I cannot. Okay? And then spring break is about to come up. And I'm going to have them every day with me for like a week or so. So, I won't be doing readings for that time period. I will be feeling kind of bad, sad. Because I love doing readings for y'all. But please understand that, Pisces. And I hope you... um. Oh, I will be posting my phone number and email if you want a reading. Um, please share, subscribe, like, comment on this video. <clears throat> Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful, blessed day.